All right, everyone, how's it going? Welcome to uh, this edition of Brewing with Bobby and Minka. Here's Minka. Oh, that's right. Sit. Good girl. Um, cool. So today we are going to be doing um, <laughs> vegan or uh, milk alternative cold brew drinks. Um, so we're going to be working with oat milk and coconut milk today, but you can use almond, cashew milk, whatever you have at home. Um, while we're letting people jump on board, I'm going to give some shout outs real fast. Um, we still have our uh, online tip jar for our baristas who are sitting at home waiting for things to reopen so we can re-employ them. So feel free to throw them a few, few dollars here to help them out during this time. Um, our Santa Monica shop is still open uh, and I can't stress this enough. If you do come there, please wear a mask. We will not serve you if you're not wearing a mask. There's been some issues around that lately. Uh, so please, please um, come by, but also uh, wear a mask. Um, anything we do here, if you make it at home, please tag us. We love seeing people doing this stuff at home. It's awesome uh, seeing the things that we uh, demo here being done in your own kitchen. Um, and we really do try to make it sort of like, all right, you know, average house uh, can do this kind of thing. So there you go. Um, and... Uh, I think that's it for now. Um, the code for today is cooler than cold or cooler than cool. So go on our website, use that and you'll get um, discounts off the coffee. And um, thanks to everyone who's been ordering coffee too. It's been fantastic. Uh, you're keeping the guys of the roastery busy for sure. So we're super grateful for everyone who has been buying coffee and, and brewing coffee at home. So um, with that, let's get started. Um, like I said, we were going to do um, we're going to do cold brew stuff, but uh, the president says we should be drinking Lysol, so I'm going to teach you guys how to make a Lysol latte today. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so instead of making the cold brew, we're going to start with the cold brew already prepared. So I've made two different cold brews, and I'll put the recipes online. They're very simple, but we have just a very um, standard regular cold brew, which is just you know coffee, water, steep overnight. And then uh, I made an oat milk cold brew. So same ratio, uh, six to one by weight, but instead of water, I used oat milk and I steeped the coffee in the oat milk overnight, strained it this morning. Um, it's quite tasty. So the milk cold brew is definitely um, something we've used in, in previous uh, demos. So feel free to jump on that. Um, regular milk, almond milk, oat milk, it all works quite well. And it's, it's an easy way of making yourself a quick iced latte um, where you don't have to really have an espresso machine, but you still want that. Uh, especially in this heat, you want the cold uh, milk and the coffee flavor all at the same time so you can batch brew that She's so bossy. Um, okay, so the first drink we're gonna do today So one of our fans said hey, I want you know, I make cold brew at home, but I, I and I, I can't drink milk So can you make some fun cold brew drinks for me that are um, that don't use dairy? So that was the challenge for today um, so uh, and that's a perfect example of if there's something you guys want us to do, just fire fire off um, a DM or email me like, hey, you know, I would love you, for you to make us drinks like this. So this this whole episode goes out to Dan, Dan Jacobs, this is for you. So the first drink is going to be a coconut date, uh, coconut date cold brew latte. Um, so the first thing we need to do is make some cold, uh, make some date syrup. So let's fire up the water. All right, so date syrup is a classic demi syrup. We The first latte we ever made was a date latte. Dude, you need to chill, sister. Uh, so the date latte, uh, so this is the same syrup that we used, Jesus, almost nine years ago in our first cafe. Uh, so this is some, some trade secrets here. So we're gonna take, uh, you're gonna use two to one by weight. So we're gonna do about 30 grams of dates here. Uh, use pitted dates. You don't wanna be having to like cut open dates and take the pits out. It's just a ton of time. Um, so we got our dates going, the water's boiling. Um, and then and then you're gonna use the same amount of dates. You can also use demerara sugar. I have a little bit of dates here from yesterday, so I just added the sugar to this. Um, so we're gonna use 30 grams of dates, 30 grams of sugar. And if you don't have demerara sugar, use regular sugar, use dark sugar, whatever you have at home is fine. Even honey, honey's delicious as a, as a sugar alternative and it works in all of our recipes. Um, you know, the theme of this whole series is use what you have. So if you don't have demerara, I just happen to have a ton of demerara here. So, um, oh boy, you see the dates, you're getting excited. She loves fruit. Guys, if I cut up apples here, she will just wolf them down like a champion. Um, so uh, once we have the dates, we're going to muddle them with the hot water. Needs another minute there. So then we're gonna just basically add uh, the date syrup, the cold brew, 
and the coconut milk. So why don't we prepare um, all of that together while we wait for the water to heat up. So you're gonna use a two to two to two, or one to one to one ratio of, of um, coconut milk, cold brew, and date saver when we have it by um, ounces. So we're gonna do two ounces of coconut milk. I think this recipe actually works better with um, coconut cream. If you have coconut cream at home, use that. Again, work with what you have. I just happen to have coconut milk. So that's what we're doing. Two ounces of cold brew. And this is just your standard cold brew. And uh, we have a cold brew blend. You can definitely jump on that on our website. Uh, but any coffee bean will work well with cold brew. If you want like a higher acidity coffee, get those fruit notes in there. Get an Ethiopian coffee. If you want some little dark and more roasty, get an espresso coffee. But it all, you know, coarsely ground, just soak it overnight and you're good to go. All right, so we got our date syrup. Let's go. So you're gonna use twice the weight, right? So this is 30 grams of dates. I'm gonna use 60 grams of hot water. Hi, you are so bossy. And then we're gonna muddle these until it's basically a paste. And the hotter the water, and I didn't, I didn't, I'm too impatient. I didn't wait till it got boiling hot, but the hotter the water, the easier this is. And again, there are different kinds of dates. We used to find these super juicy dates um, at the farmer's market in Santa Monica. And um, obviously I just got whatever I could get on uh, online for this demo, but it all works. Work with what you have. So um, again, you're gonna muddle this until it's basically pulverized in the hot water. And if you're doing this like in a massive batch, your best bet is to um, strain this in a nut bag. Uh, but this is just a small little demonstration volume amount. So we're just going to strain it into the sugar with our little baby strainer. All right, I will give you something in a second, little monster. So you're gonna strain all of that in there. I like to squeeze out the last little bits of juice like so. Hi, I see you. All right, so, and I would keep the, the date paste. You can use that, put it on toast, put it in your cereal, it's delicious. And then just um, dissolve the sugar with the date, the date juice. And guys, if you have any questions, fire away. I will try to answer them as we go here. Um, and again, the hotter the water, this isn't super hot water, the hotter the water, the faster the sugar will obviously dissolve. So don't do what I did and be impatient. Okay, good enough. So we're gonna add two ounces of date syrup to our, our uh, coffee and coconut milk cocktail here. All right, all right, you're gonna get something. You're gonna get something. Greedy girl. And then drop some ice on here. And that's pretty much it. You're pretty much done. Dates, coconuts, and then I like to shave a little bit of uh, pecan on top just to get a little nutty vibe. Another good thing to shave on top would be um, orange peel or um, even lime peel to get it that sort of tropical dates, coconut, and lime. I mean, that's a great combination. You can use that in a lot of things, but. I kind of like pecans and dates together, I don't know why. Um, yeah. So that's really good. It's rich, it's creamy. If you have coconut cream, it'll be even creamier. Um, the pecans give it a nice little texture on top and the date syrup definitely cuts through. So this is definitely something um, you can drink on a super hot day like today. Got a question here, do the dates provide much sweetening? Yeah, it's um, it, it depends on the dates. You get some of the sweetness out of the dates, but not enough to really not use sugar. So I would, if you, you know, and use as much sugar as you want, but I would definitely add a little bit of sweetener to it, whether that's um, honey syrup or, or um, demerara or whatever you have. So this is fantastic on a hot day. Um, and so is the next drink we're gonna make right now. So the second drink is, um, we're gonna start with a oat milk uh, cold brew, right? So again, this is super. Here we go. I got another question. I can get you dates at Santa Monica's Farmer's Market. I will let you know. Um, but we're all good for now. Thank you so much, Ron. Um, so we're doing um, oat milk uh, cold brew. Um, so again, you're just going to soak coffee overnight with oat milk and then strain it out the next morning. And this is actually quite tasty on its own. Um, we're going to do a maple, 
a rosemary maple syrup and it's super easy to make. You're gonna take a little pan. This is the first time we're cooking on live on uh, Instagram here. You're gonna take a pan. We're gonna drop in um, uh, 50 grams of maple syrup. There we go. And we're going to add a rosemary sprig just right into there. And I'm just gonna heat this up on the burner for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna add a splash of water, maybe two ounces of water, just to cut it a little bit. And so that's gonna that's gonna infuse the maple syrup with the rosemary, um, and that's just a super tasty. Dude, you are out of control, little miss. You guys want to see her do a trick? Shake. Good girl. All right. I got another question here. To make the cold brew, you're soaking the coffee directly in milk. Yes, absolutely. So for any, any, you know, post the recipe. We used this um, a few episodes back. So uh, it works with any milk, almond milk, oat milk, regular milk. And instead of just soaking it in water, we just put the coffee right into the milk. Um, the one little tricky thing, if you will, is to make sure the coffee will separate from the milk as it sits in the fridge. So as you open your fridge, just give it a little shake to, to remix everything. Um, but yeah, this is this is literally, um, you can see the coffee's really leached into the oat milk. Um, so as this heats up, it'll start to froth a little bit, and um, I can't really move the, the phone right now, but you'll see it just kind of froth, so just kind of give it a swirl so that you're swirling the rosemary inside the maple syrup. Um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna do this right. So you're gonna put some ice in your mixer first. swirl um, I don't know if you can see that you want to swirl the rosemary in the heat in the maple syrup and it'll start to sort of reduce after a minute um, it does not need a lot of time you'll you'll really absorb all of that um, all of the rosemary flavor in there but we're gonna put it in the mixer anyways and it'll, it'll even get more of that flavor out let's give that another like 30 seconds here so um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add um, Oat milk into this. I'm gonna add about six ounces of our oat milk cold brew. Most of the work's already been done for us, right? Um, let's see here. There we go. Maybe five ounces. And this is starting to bubble. That's what we want. Hi. Give her another treat while we wait. Good girl, there you go, little monster. Um, and done. All right, so we're gonna take our um, our, our maple syrup uh, with rosemary and um, use a spoon. Take your rosemary out. Put that in here just to get it more rosemary flavored. I love rosemary. In case we did a whole thing on rosemary a few episodes back. And then I'm gonna add an ounce of the rosemary maple syrup right into here. If you want it sweeter, add more. If you want it less sweet, add less. Um, and, and I'm not really picky about our um, maple syrup brand. Whatever you have at home is probably fine. Okay, and here comes the fun part, right? Shake it up. Yeah, rosemary is fantastic. Hi. Shake, shake, shake for the camera. Good girl. And that's it. And you're just gonna pour this onto a fancy cocktail because it's 5 p.m. somewhere. Um, you can add brandy to this. It's quite delicious. Um, if you want to zest something on top of this, you can either um, salt the rim a little bit. Um, salted salt and um, salt and rosemary work really well together. Um, got someone saying it would be neat to make a rosemary cold foam. Yes, it would. Um, and you could easily infuse rosemary into like heavy cream and then just in one of those nitro um, whipped creamers and bam, you got yourself um, rosemary, uh, rosemary whipped cream even. Um, let's make foams. I will, I will get on foams. That'll be a whole thing. Um, we can do a whole thing on foams. Um, so here you have it. Cheers, everyone. Guys, I can't tell you how tasty this is. You really get the oat milk um, and it's creamy with the maple syrup. You get a hints of rosemary in there. 
it's it's really a treat. When I made this yesterday, I was actually super impressed um, by how tasty it was. I'm not really a milk alternative kind of guy, um, but this is this is really really tasty. Um, I could drink this all day, especially on a hot day like today. I think just a splash of salt on the rim would would take it up a notch. But I mean, this is fantastic. I mean, rosemary, maple syrup, oat milk. Um, got a lot of requests for foams now. Okay, we're gonna have to do foams. We're gonna get into gastro. I was actually working on um, sphere making um, little honey caviar balls. So stay tuned. Um, hi, I see you. Okay. So that's that's it for today. Alternative milk cold brews um, drinks. Uh, this one's a hit. I can tell you this 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 might be on a menu somewhere soon. God, that's good. Um, if you guys have any other uh, suggestions, things you want me to make here, fire away. We've got a lot of requests for foam, so we're going to have to do some foams, um, which is a whole new world for me. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. As always, we're, we're, we'll be here every Tuesday and Friday at 10 a.m. Um, if you make these drinks, please tag us. We'd love to see people making this stuff at home. We're always so curious. Um, this will be up on YouTube in a few, you know, by probably by the end of today. And so check it out, share it, send it to your friends. Hi. And that's kind of it for us today. Um, two drinks, our, our date, uh, coconut date latte, and then the rosemary maple oat milk latte. Um, let me know if you guys want any other, um, any other things for us to make. Salted rim, yeah, the salted rim is fantastic. Um, definitely try that, just, I'm not a huge salt guy. And that's it. For us, we'll see you guys on Tuesday. Have a very safe weekend. Enjoy the hot weather. Please be safe. Please be healthy. And um, again, if you have any suggestions, slide into our DMs. Shoot us an email. We're, we're always looking for... Um... Oop, she missed. Hey. There you go. All right. Thanks, everyone. We will see you guys on Tuesday.